Hey Flossie, this is Christy the Amy Claus Stitcher. Today is Monday, March 21st. It is my birthday. <laughs> if you're one of my usual subscribers, hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, hi, hello, welcome. I'm Christy, I'm a cross stitcher, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. This is my channel where I mostly talk about cross stitch. And it is House Pride week. Um, Ravenclaw is on the 23rd and today is Slytherin Pride. Uh, yesterday was Hufflepuff and tomorrow is Gryffindor. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bummed out that Ravenclaw's not on the 21st, but whatever. I'll, I'll let it go. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, if you see, there's a, quite a bit of changes. Quality looks a lot better in this video. Um, I got a new Canon G7X Mark II camera for my birthday. Thank you, Mom and Stepdad, um, for my brand new camera. Loving it. Quality is going to come out way better. Um editing is another story i am still learning and figuring out how to do the editing so this video is going to be very very choppy and it, it's going to be bad <laughs> i'm so sorry i am I'm, I'm really sorry but i'm learning i'm trying to figure things out um this is going to be the first video i upload that i edit with the new software and this camera so please 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 be patient with me um i am doing this video this week because it's the last week that my kids are in school before they go on spring break next week. So um, I will do another clip towards the end of the video where I talk about uh, the new numbers for April. Um, I don't want to wait until my kids go back to school to do that video. Um, it's going to have to be a small clip uh, while my kids are outside playing or something. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to do it. If you're watching this video, obviously I did it. <laughs> <laughs> so um yes um it's gonna be very very choppy so i am so sorry also i am working on my mini mickey and mini kit right now um this whip i have started doing a uh daily update well i call it daily update but i've only did two updates last week and i'm gonna do another one right now um if you saw my videos from a year or two ago, you know I did daily updates from my car when I was doing um, um, my car whips when I was waiting for my kids uh, to pick them up from school. So that's going to be pretty much the same thing, kind of where I show you my daily updates and where I'm at. Um, the only reason why I'm not doing daily, actual daily, everyday updates is because I'm only working on two colors right now. Today I'm hoping to start some other colors. I'm, I'm hoping to start, um, where is it at? There it is. <laughs> so I'm doing all this right here and then the Mickey ears. So it's just black and then um, uh, some kind of cream color. I don't know. But anyways, um, today I'm starting to um, work on the bow. So I'll have a little bit more of a color uh, changing to show you rather than just these two colors up here. Um, so yeah, um, that's what's going on with that once i start those colors then i'll start doing daily updates um so you can see how much has changed um i also did a purple line i talked about this in previous videos where um i use my friction pins to draw the grids on my fabrics and then i use all my other friction pins <laughs> um and i kind of outline where some stitches go and I use little dash lines. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned the dash lines before, but I use them for multiple things. Uh, sometimes I use it where the page cuts out on the chart. Um, sometimes I use them, um, like this purple one that you're gonna see, it's actually where my goal line is. So my goal is to reach this purple dash lines. You'll see some pink and green dashes as well. Um, those are just where the charts, um, where they stop uh this actual chart this half is on one side of the page and then this half is on the other side of the page so when you see those um pink and green lines that's where the the pages um separate so um yeah i i just use friction pins to help me figure out where everything's at um actually i can show you on this piece right here this is my whipgo number six 17 all aboard the hogwarts express but you can see the 
Get my camera a second. You can see all the little dash lines right here. That's where the page um, cuts out, I think. Yeah, so there's this line here and then this line here. So there's four pages for the chart. So it's page one, page two, page three, and page four. So, um, and then I also use the friction pins to outline. For this piece, it was the castle um, and then the mountain part. And then down here somewhere is the Hogwarts Express. So this piece right here is called the All Aboard the Hogwarts Express. Um, my goal originally for this was 20%. Um, I think it was 4,500, wait, hold on. 4,562 stitches was originally 20%. Um, I had decided to roll down to 4,500 stitches for my goal. I ended up doing a little over 48. So I, I did more than just 20%. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, I hit like a really good stitching groove on this and I wanted to keep on stitching. And um, I kind of forced myself to stop stitching on this so I can get the Mickey and Minnie going. Um, Cause Mickey and Minnie, my goal for this was 30%. So that's, I need to complete it up to there. That's a lot. That's like almost 10,000 stitches. I didn't realize it was gonna be that much until I actually started stitching on it. Um, and you'll see the uh, purple line, that's where I plan to stop. It's, um, it's like kind of halfway through her bow. So I need to stitch all that, that you can see. I have a little over a week to finish this. Uh, not to finish it, but just to hit my goal. Um, I think I can do it. The only thing I was not planning on was so many quarter and three quarter stitches. There's a lot of it. <laughs> so um, I, I do have that to do. Um, so I am gonna get on to stitching and get some of that done as much as possible today. Um, I will, I'll see you in one second with all my daily updates and then later on I will have um, my stop or my goal completed for this piece and whatever numbers are called for April. So hold on one second. Hey everyone, um, today is Wednesday, March 16th. Um, here is my update. Um, this is pretty much what I did Tuesday and today, um, for some reason I just, I haven't found the stride yet, I haven't hit it, uh, like I normally do, I'm still waiting for it to come in, uh, what I'm talking about is normally I just sit down, I just start stitching and I don't want to stop, um, so when I'm on that mood, I'm pretty much procrastinating and I don't want to sit down and I don't want to stitch, so I'm kind of forcing myself to stitch, um, halfway through the month. Um, to hit my goal, I need to have all my stitches to this line right here. You see the dash with the purple? Um, that's more or less a rough goal estimate. Um, it's not exact, but um, <clears throat> you can hear the music in the background. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so pretty much I'm doing this for multiple reasons. First, to show you my progress from day to day. Other is, um, this time I have everything going on in the background. I didn't even bother trying to turn it off or anything. Um, it's a little warm today, so I have all the ACs running. Um, doing laundry right now. I have my air filter. I need to have my air filter. I, I was cleaning. I'm caking up dust. Uh, my allergies are really bad. I need to have that thing cleaning out the air for me or else I just can't um, do anything. I would literally be out of commission just sitting on the couch. Uh, unable to stop sneezing and itchy watery eyes and stuff so um <clears throat> this is just a test for me to see how well the mic picks up other noise in the background um if it's working out great <laughs> then um future videos i'll just leave everything on normally i turn everything off because the mics are tend to be sensitive on my iphone and my computer and it picks everything up um so yeah um anyways so my goal was 30%. This line right here is pretty much 30%. Um, as you can see, I'm working in a weird kind of diagonal slope. 
um, there. So probably towards the middle, I think this is the middle right here. Um, this will probably be, probably be right at the line where everything down here will be further down. I can't show you the rest because this is like the end of the, uh, the frame. Let me move this up. Okay, so yeah, you see the rest of the frame. It's like everything's rolled up down here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so everything on this side of that line will probably be up like this little slant a little bit. So, yeah, that's what I'm working with. Um, this is my Grime Guard that I made myself. I bought this fabric at Joann's a long time ago. Made some cute little Grime Guards. It's little cookies and pastries and pies and, um, yeah. So, uh, that's where I am at today. I'm not sure if I'm going to come back tomorrow and do another clip or Friday. But, either way, I will see you in just one second. Hey, everyone. Today is Friday, uh, March 18th. Here is my update on my Mickey and Minnie. Um, I'm just trying to pull everything down. The only reason why I haven't brought it down more is because um, a lot of this on the edges is quarter stitches, three quarter stitches. Um, so I'm waiting to get to, um, well I, I last night <laughs> brought the fabric up a little bit so I can get some more stuff done down here. Um, I'm gonna start stitching and um, getting those other colors. This is the bow, so it's um, I think like five or six different shades of red. And within the bow, there's a lot of quarter and three quarter stitches. Um, so I I'm, I'm gonna attempt to work on that today. Um, at least get it started. Um, so yeah. But yeah, every outline of Mickey and Minnie pretty much has quarter or three quarter stitches all the way around. Um, on top of that, there's also back stitching. So uh, that's what I will be attempting to work on today. And you, you see right here this little dash purple. Uh, my goal for this piece for the month of March would go is to get down to this um, dash line. That's the 30%. So if I can make it to that dash line, that'll be great. Um, the paper line is down here. I don't think you see it. It's, well, let me turn this down more. There's a light green dash line down here. Um, the chart itself is half is on one side of the paper and then the other half is flipped on the other side um so this is the half of the chart itself physically <laughs> um this is the top half and then there's the bottom half um so yeah that's where i'm at i will see you guys in one second with another update Good morning everyone. Today is Thursday, March 24th. Um, it's roughly 8 in the morning. My kids just up for school and this is where I'm starting today. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm, I'm struggling every day to stitch this thing. I, I don't want to stitch it. Um, but I'm forcing myself to stitch it. I'm just trying to get up to this purple line. That goes all the way across. If I can get all my stitch stitches up to that point, um, that is my goal line. Um, so I already have a few stitches below. I don't plan to do any more than what you see there. Um, that that's pretty much it. Um, I just currently have no motivation to do this. And normally, when I feel like this, I I put the piece down and I move on to something else. But because I had set a goal for myself. I'm going to complete it. Um, yeah. I'm ready just to put this piece away. Um, roughly just looking at it real quick. I have at least. 2,000 stitches to go. So this is where I'm at with that. I probably won't have another clip for this video because today's my kids' last day of school before they go on spring break. So like I said before, 
I don't record when my kids are home. Um, if they go outside and play, I might have a few minutes to, to record a clip. Um, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see what ends up happening. <sighs> so I guess we'll all find out together in a second what happened. <laughs> everyone today is uh saturday march 26th um uh, my husband took the kids bowling today um didn't really feel like going out at all today it's nice and gloomy and um yeah um so the kids are spending much great quality time with daddy um <laughs> right now so uh yeah i am stitching today um you can see this purple line that goes all the way across that is my goal line I uh, for the next few days will be trying to bring all these stitches down to at least to that line um, you see some parts over here I already went below the line one right here I finished the thread but it wasn't enough to reach the line but that's okay because over here I went below the line so um, I I'm, I'm making sure I'm gonna reach my goal but just ever so slightly uh, I have five and a half more days to get some stitching in um hopefully tomorrow uh, jesse marie will pull the numbers but i'm 16 hours ahead at least so i i might have to wait until monday the 28th and to see what numbers are called but um as soon as i hit my goals i will pull out the next numbers that are called and get that ready for the first um, but I have a feeling I'm going to be stitching on this until the 31st. I have very little motivation um, to stitch this. I think I mentioned that before. But anyways, yeah. Um, there's like so many. Let me see if I can zoom in here. I'm sorry this is a little shaky. I, uh, it's not zoom. Oh, there it is. Let's just zoom in. I have like a small hand uh how tripod i just bought for this camera oh wow okay so you can see right here those are a lot of um quarter and three quarter stitches the instructions aren't really clear what's a quarter stitch and what's three quarter stitches so i'm kind of like eyeballing it myself um i'm seeing where the stitches are and where the back stitching is going to be and try to see what will get the best full coverage and what won't be so this that's just two quarter stitches so pretty much a half stitch and then I'm gonna go over with the back stitching um yeah so I got a lot of that going on here so oh, I like how this autofocus even though my hands kind of shaking a little bit I do not have the steadiest hands but like I said before, this is a brand new camera. I'm checking it out, trying it out, and I love how easy this is to use. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing because that shakes it more. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go back to stitching. I don't know what that clicking is. Oh, my kids have these little weird robot stuff, and it makes like random noise throughout the day, and it freaks me out. Normally they keep it in the room and I don't hear it, but it's somewhere out here, and I can hear it clicking away. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, but, um, anyways, um, uh, yeah, so this is where I am at. Let me try to zoom out. Oh, that's zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Okay, there we go. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you if that sounded creepy right there. But yeah, um, I, I just have to do all the stitching. Um, let's see, that's about 2,000 stitches left to do to reach my goal. <sighs> Um, so before anyone starts asking, cause I usually get this questions on all my videos is the friction pins. Yes. I have a ton of friction pins here in Japan. I found so many friction pins. You have no idea how happy I am, <laughs> but I got a bunch of different colors. Um, I chose to use these. I, I change the colors up depending on the projects I'm using or the color, uh, threads I'm using. So for this one, for some reason, I decided to go with this little palette here. Um, each one I kind of make it different so I know which color is what goes where. Um, so pretty much I kind of outline. Let me get my little pointer. 
um so all this right here in this whole area is this one thread right here i'm working on that i need to fill that in and that's the orange over here is the pink and that's this thread i'm working on actively right now um and i'm filling in everything right here everything in the center pretty much uh, seems to be full stitches so it's not that bad it's only the stuff on the edges over here that's all quarter stitches so like the the ears are all quarter stitches on the edges and um all right here was a little bit of a, a headache because some of them there was no stitches in the square at all it was just a little back stitching so i had to try to figure out how i'm going to do that um so i think i'm going to have the same problem right here too so the lines only represent the full stitch so when I'm stitching up into the lines, I'm carefully looking back and forth between the chart and what I'm stitching to see where any of the half or quarter stitches go. Um, yeah. So, and then you see over here, the black outlining is for the main Mickey and Mickey's, Minnie and Mickey's heads. And then there's um, the one color here and then another color here and then there's another color here and another color here. Um, I didn't plan out the different colors to use right here <laughs> too well, um, but this orange is like, this is like one color and then this is another color. Uh, it's, um, a little bit complicated, yeah, I know. But it works for me. That's, it, I, I understand what I'm doing here, so, um, I am going to get back to stitching and getting this done, um. Hopefully next time I see you, I'll have another better update. Hopefully I'll be finished with this. We'll see um, how far I get. Um, and I'll see you guys in one second. Hey, I'm in front of the camera again. Yay! <laughs> so today is Monday, March 28th. As of yesterday, the new numbers were called for WIPGO. So number 7 and 10. Um, I currently don't have my computer up, so I, well, it's on, but um, I don't have my Excel sheet up, so I don't, can't tell you off the top of my head which one of my projects is which number. I know the, it's these two projects. I pulled them out yesterday, but as to which number is which, I don't know. Um, I will tell you which one I do first in a second. Hold on a second. Oh my god. Okay, I felt like I need to sneeze, but it went away. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so number seven and number 10 were called. Um, before I show you what my number seven and 10 are, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you my completed Mickey and Minnie. I forgot when, oh, this was number 21. That's right. I was going to say I forgot, but then I was like, oh yes, yeah, 21 because on my March 21st is my birthday. Oh, there's Mickey and Minnie. You can see their ears. Um, like I said before, there's a purple line right here. Um, I made sure all my stitches were to there or close to it. Some of it was a little past it, like this right here. Um, so that cancels out this little stitches here and this little line here that I didn't complete. <laughs> but um, everything evens out. So I did extras here, so in case I didn't do that there, um, it all works out. I, I hit my goal. My 30% is done. <sighs> wow. Okay. So... 30% completed. Um, as of right now, I'm not sure if I'm going to participate in WIPGO next year. Or at least I'm not going to have goals. I'm just going to say I want to work on this piece and that piece and leave it at that and not have any goals. Because that one, I said 30%, not realizing it was going to be about 10,000 stitches. <sighs> But whatever. Um, for the rest of 2020, I will follow my WIPGO board as is right now. I hopefully am not going to change anything. I know the last few videos I said I'm not going to change anything. So far this month, I'm not changing anything. So yay. <laughs> um, so I showed you that. Uh, my Welcome to Hogwarts poster. Or no, All Board the Hogwarts Express, sorry. I already showed you that earlier in this video, so you already saw that. Um, my March goal, WIPCO goals have now been completed. Um, I've already marked them um, off on my WIPCO board. And now on to number 7 and 10. I can't remember which one's 7. I can't remember which one is 10. But I can tell you 
that they are my Wizards game mandala and my whip my uh, Willow wear classics. I do know that much. So on the first, I will be starting with my Willow wear. This is a kit that I purchased a while ago. I want to say maybe at Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. Um, but yes, it was a piece um, that I really, really was drawn to just because of all that blue. I love blue. Blue is my favorite color. I love like most shades of blue, like 90% of shades out there of blue I love. So, um, love the blue. I love the plates. I want plates like this. Um, I love the Bridgerton series where they go to the kitchen and they have all those blue plates i really really want a set like that um i have recently purchased a little tea set um of blue pots here in japan um not yeah teapot well i have one teapot and then one little set for drip coffee um it's all decoration piece. I'm not going to use this for actual coffee and teas. But <laughs> they're all blue. Um, so yeah. I love, 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 blue. So I bought this kit a while ago. Decided to put it on my Whipco board. Um, I can't remember if this was originally on my Whipco board. Or if I recently changed it when the last two months. <laughs> um, whatever. Anyways, it's on my Whipco board now. So I am stitching on this. My goal for this was 20%. So I'm going to do that. Um, originally I was going to get the chart, uh, normally in the past I've scanned it on my printer, turn into a PDF, put it on my computer or whatever, um, and use it just like that. Um, usually for PDFs that I've scanned, I use the Foxit app and I can just, I like it cause I can zoom in and out. When I usually have the paper charts, I try to go like this and I realize it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so I have it on my laptop and I zoom in zoom out um, it works pretty good however my printer just doesn't work here in Japan um, I, we don't know why my husband's like the tech person in the family so he tried to figure it out didn't work we're completely stumped we don't know why it wouldn't work so my husband had to go out to the store and purchase a new Epson printer which that printer is working pretty good but I cannot for the life of me figure out how to use a scanning on there. Um, I, I played with the, the settings a little bit and it's not really working out too good. Also, um, the PDFs, like each page is different. Before I was able to put all the pages, the scans together onto one PDF. It's, it's not working out for me anymore. So this morning I went on to Cooler Design Studios uh, website and I purchased a PDF of the same kit that I have um, just to make my life easier so yeah I spent more money um, for this one um, all the symbols were different so I already had everything on thread organizers and I had to go back and redo the little um, symbols all but one color was the same um, like both of these called for the exact same colors um, except for this one it had one strand of one color and I cannot find that symbol on the chart meaning there was only probably one symbol for the whole chart of that one color um, so hopefully that's why it's not on there anymore so yeah uh, so anyways it worked out fine so this one I did uh, get this on pattern keeper uh, the only thing is I had to uh, assign numbers to each of the symbols and now it's, it's fine. So my goal for this is 20% and I have Pattern Keeper which will keep track of uh, the percentage and I know when to stop. So that is done. And here is the fabric. Yesterday before I bought the PDF I did put the lines here thinking okay if I can just stitch to here like I did with the Mickey and Minnie I know where to stop at. Um, now that I have it on Pattern Keeper, I don't have to worry about that. I'll just stop wherever the Pattern Keeper tells me it's 20%. Um, okay, so for this one, I do not have a nerge to stitch on. Like, I don't mind stitching on it. It's just, it's not really calling to me. The other number that was called is calling to me, which is my Wizards Game Mandala. So this one here... Um, I originally saw this chart on Facebook 
um, the seller on Etsy, the designer, she posted it on one of the Facebook groups. So, um, and she had her link to her Etsy store. So I went to her Etsy store. I bought this one. Um, I also bought Wizard Alley. I bought these back in August um, while I was in quarantine before. <laughs> We moved into this apartment after we got to Japan, but before we moved into this apartment, um, I purchased these two because I knew I was going to end up having them anyways. Um, so I have these. Um, I also bought the... Um, Christmas ornaments. So she also has all four houses Christmas ornaments. I bought the bundle that had all four houses even though I only care about Ravenclaw. Um, if my kids ever decide to be in Harry Potter and they're in one of the other houses, I'll make them for them. Um, but also this seller also has a bunch of stuff that's not Harry Potter related, that's more Disney related. Kid charts, I have a few of those as well. <laughs> um, the seller is also like I highly recommend, great business person. Yeah, um, so this one had uploaded to Patterns Keeper. No problem, no issue. The other one, the uh, Wizard Alley, didn't uh, upload as easy. Um, so when I was on the Facebook page um, where the seller was talking about her charts, I mentioned that I was having trouble with one, but the other one was fine. She told me to send a message through Etsy and we can try to figure out through there. Um, she was very on top of everything, like within minutes replying to every question I had, problems, whatever. Um, emailed me a new copy, uh, PDF to make sure that worked with Pattern Keeper. Um, very good communication. I highly recommend her. Um, even as she was trying to figure out the stuff, um, she kept in, in communication with me, making sure that I knew that she was on it. And yeah, um, so highly, highly, highly recommend the seller. Yeah, five stars. Um, so anyways, <sighs> Quidditch Mandela, I keep calling it Quidditch I'm pretty sure she doesn't call it Quidditch Mandela just because of copyright issues, but I'm not mad at that. Okay. Um, <laughs> here's where I'm starting for the month. Um, as you can see, I've already started this and I have my pumpkins on here as my needle minders. Um, I made those pumpkins myself. Aren't they cute? I have them in orange and black. Um, and then here is a leaf. I have these leaves in orange, brown, yellow, and red. And I use them as needle minders. And here's my Ravenclaw banner, because obviously I'm a Ravenclaw, hello. Um, but anyways, here is my start. I have about 1,237 stitches in it so far, according to Pattern Keeper. Um, since this is on Pattern Keeper, um, I will be keeping track to make sure I do 10,000 stitches. Um, so, this one I'll do the 20%. I don't know how many stitches that would be. Um, but this one I probably do more than 10,000 stitches. So I'm going to do the shorter one first just to knock that out and get it over with. And then I'm going to put the rest of my time and effort into this piece which I'm super happy and excited about. Um, and again another harry potter piece uh that was called for a whip go so this is four months in a row i had at least one of my harry potter pieces called for which i i think i mentioned before but half of my whip go board is harry potter related cross stitch so it works out pretty good um so today's the 28th we got the 29th the 30th and 31st um i have this currently right here i haven't started it yet Let's see there it is um, this is Butterfly Dream by Dimensions. It's kit. Let's see if it'll focus. Yes. Got a Hobby Lobby a while ago on clearance. A very pretty piece. I love the colors. I'm going to start stitching on it just to start stitching on it. Um, I do have other projects that's not cross stitch related. So I will be occupying the rest of the month with these other projects that are not whip go related so one cross stitch project and then the rest is not cross stitch related at all and get some of the stuff done and um yeah that is my goal that's my plans for the rest of this month and my goals for april um i do have another video time lapse video that's ready to be released soon um i think i might do um 
kind of stitch with me videos coming very soon i got another stand so this stand that i have right here holding this camera i bought a second one for this camera that i'm recording on right now i also got the plugs um uh the micro usb or no uh, micro hdmi for this camera so i might even be able to do live videos i don't know uh, i need to figure out and play with things first um see if i can keep this camera um the battery i don't know how that works so i got a lot of playing around to do for this video for this camera to see what i can do so a lot of new things coming a lot of exciting things coming so thank you so much for watching and subscribing and hopefully i can see you guys in my next video hopefully you'll be stitched with me we'll see <laughs> until next time happy stitching bye